Are you curious to know what audio distortion is and how there are different types? How you can use these creatively and what are they actually doing to your sound? Today we're going to discuss all of these topics. Stay tuned. So today we're going to talk about what distortion is actually doing to your mix and I'm going to show you some examples of what distortion plugins are doing and the different types, some of the different types of distortion plugins that exist. So you might be asking, what is distortion? Well, distortion is kind of the deformation of the audio. You're basically altering the sound and obviously when you're using EQ compressors, you're altering the sound as well, but distortion is kind of one of those terms that you hear, say for example, guitar players use distortion pedals, or you might have a rack mount unit that has a distortion box, for example, that's just mangling the sound. And that's kind of the term in audio, what distortion means when you talk about adding distortion. So let's get into some examples here. Okay, before we get into this, I just wanna preface by saying that I'm gonna be using a test tone here. Basically, it's at 400 Hertz. So it sounds like that. And I'm just gonna keep all these tracks muted. Now, when we're referring to distortion, we have different types of distortion. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is, say, tube distortion. And I'm gonna be using Saturn to show you this. I've also got this spectrum analyzer loaded up here, and you can see the tone here at exactly 400 hertz. Now, immediately when I turn the Saturn on, just say to the default, you see these other tones pop up and that's what distortion is doing it's adding and altering the harmonics so some types of distortion plugins will add even or odd harmonics so even meaning if i'm at 400 then the next multiple would be 800 and then it would be 1600 and the odd harmonics would be at odd places like this one is at um a little over a thousand hertz so these are odd harmonics so saturn at its default state is adding odd harmonics. And if I drive it even further, you can see that it's filling in the space with extra harmonics up the spectrum and it actually dropped down that initial tone. So this is what this plugin is actually doing. And you can see that visually right here, which is really nice because a lot of plugins don't show you that. Let's go ahead and I want to pick a tube type. And so we have one harmonic added, it's an odd harmonic, and this is a warm tube, and as I bring up the drive, you can see, oh look, there's a oh, even harmonic that just came in. So some even harmonics just came in. So this is really what tube distortion or tube saturation, Saturn is kind of a saturation and distortion in one. So I'm gonna get into saturation next. Today we're talking about distortion. And you can see what is actually happening. So I encourage you to try to play with some of your plugins and see what they're actually doing instead of just throwing them on and hoping for the best. Okay, on this next track, I've got a tape plugin loaded. This is the Studer A800. And this is to emulate some tape distortion, essentially. You know, when you would record back in the day to reel to reel, you would get that tape saturation, tape distortion. And so see, turning it off, I've got the same tone at 400 hertz, turning it on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive the input all the way and look at that. So these are odd harmonics because they're, this is, should be at 800. And so it's giving me an odd harmonic distortion. And as you can see, when you bring up the output, it's also giving me more harmonics up here in the I'd say six, seven K range plus, especially past 10 K. And so it's adding all this extra tone, all these extra tones and grit that you wouldn't normally have. And when you change some of the tape settings, you're gonna get different sounds. And so this is showing you visually what some of these tape plugins might be doing. Okay, another type of distortion is actually bit reduction. This is also like harmonic distortion essentially. You know, I have the Ableton stock Redux here, and as you can see, I've got the same tone at 400 hertz, and as I just take the bits down, you're gonna see all kinds of different harmonics come into play. And, you know, you can play with the jitter, which changes the shape, you could, you could change the shape here, and I'm getting different types of, here's the rate, and look, as I bring the rate down, it's changing the frequency, and then getting down to zero, it's practically doing nothing, so, it's very interesting to see visually what this stuff is doing and see how there's some movement too when I bring the bit reduction down and that can add some character to your tracks. So definitely, once again, turning it off, you know, I just, I'm left with that. 
and boom. It can be very unique to add distortion to some of your tracks. And it just can, instead of say, adding volume or adding or boosting with an EQ, you can fill in space without even changing the volume per se by playing with some of this stuff. Okay, here's another type of distortion. And this one is valve distortion. This is with the UAD Thermionic Culture Vulture. And this is a really cool plugin. As you can see with it turned off, it's got nothing. But even at this, you know, when I turn it on and I have the drive all the way down, it disappears. So as I turn the drive up, you start seeing some of these overtones come into play. And looking at this, we're looking at even harmonic distortion. And I could just turn this drive up and wow, now I've got all kinds of stuff going on over here. And it looks like it, it just added some odd harmonics as well because I've got all kinds of different ones popping up. Um, you can change the distortion type, look at that. And wow, you know, this one is giving it a lot more distortion, but took our original tone down. And so there's a lot going on with these plugins behind the scenes. You really gotta play with these to see what they're doing. But, or just throw on an analyzer like I am visually showing you here so you could actually get a visual representation of what is actually happening with this stuff. It's pretty cool to see. And so there's another type of distortion that is obviously known as unwanted distortion. And that can occur when you're not paying attention. Maybe you're overloading a signal path and you're not paying attention to gain staging. So you should definitely look at my video on gain staging. I'll leave you a link down below because unwanted distortion can ruin your tracks. And that is not what you want when you're trying to make music. So I hope this video helps you out and helps you understand some of the different types of distortion out there. There's lots of different distortion plugins, lots of freebies. Just do a Google search and you'll find a bunch. And if you have any questions, shoot me a comment down below. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and the bell notification will keep you up to date. My name is Freddie from Distinct Mastering. And if you need help with your mastering, I offer all first time clients one free stereo mastered sample. Just hit the link below. And if you have any questions on this video, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Thank you and have a good day.